Hi there, Kevin Tharp here. Uh, today what I'm doing is I'm just going to do a quick capture of the process of getting a uh, Google Hangouts Live uh, going so that it streams to YouTube Live and um, walk you through that so that you can see what's going on. So what you want to do is uh, you want to go to your account and you want to go to Creator Studio. Uh, so that's going to bring you to this screen which is what we're already seeing. So you need to be logged into YouTube uh, at this point. So what you want to do is first off you've got to see if you've got the ability to do live streaming uh, it isn't always available to people especially when you're first setting up your YouTube account so you come in you click this live streaming and you're gonna see the events here uh, that's what we want to look for so click on events and you're gonna to have to have obviously your Google account set up but you've got your YouTube so it is uh, the easiest way to do this is to go to new live event you click on that new live event and what it's going to do is it's going to bring up this screen so what you're looking for is this right here the quick now you can go into custom and do some you know use other kinds of software and whatever but the, the quick and dirty way to do this is just uh, you give it a title you can schedule a time but you don't have to uh, it, by default it's going to be now take those off there you wouldn't probably have that uh, you can set this a public unlisted or private so that's going to determine who can see it I'm going to leave it as public and then you can give it some tags um, but here's where the key is you have that check mark there and then you choose go live now what that's going to do is it is going to uh, launch a Google Hangout on air session so it's going to bring you to your Google Hangouts. Uh, you click OK. And let me reduce that down to the size of what we're dealing with. So that I can get it all on screen and show you how this really works. It's really pretty slick the way that this works. Uh, it's a nice way to get a quick presentation going. Um, uh, it's not letting me show my camera because my camera is being used by the Camtasia uh, that I'm using to record this. Uh, but uh, if I wasn't doing that I could turn on my camera and you would be able to see me right now the other thing is these tools over here you, that's for a chat you won't really use that for recording a presentation but the screen share this here is an important part so you click on that that's going to give you the ability to share an entire screen or an application window I would recommend you do an application window and I'll just choose this one right here I share that and then that's going to be made visible to uh, anybody who is watching this so that uh, like you see camera not working but you can tell your screen sharing by what you see to stop that you click stop that's going to bring you back to your camera if you're live so just moving back and forth between that would allow you in the middle of your presentation to go back and forth between your camera and your presentation and so that's one of the things that we're going to be looking for is do you have uh, both of those and then you you don't have to have anybody else in here um, live to do uh, a presentation but what you do have to do is you have to start click to start broadcast and what that's going to do is that's going to be the one that starts sending the data to uh, YouTube live so that it actually becomes a live stream that you're recording so when you click that OK, it gives you a little warning here. Uh, you're going to have to wait until it tells you the Hangout is live. At that point, it's streaming live to YouTube, and anything that you do will be uh, recorded, and you can save that and then share that for your presentation. So I would then do my little introduction, click on the share screen, go to my presentation, click share. I'm going to go to application window, click share it's up and running you want to move back and forth you just click stop that brings you back to the camera so it's pretty straightforward um, it's an easy way to get into this and uh, it just doesn't allow you to do any editing after you're done that's all I've got for now uh, this could be a way for you to do your presentation that's pretty simple to get going don't forget to stop your broadcast when you're done and then you can simply close the window 
and go to your YouTube and it will be available to you there. So you can go there. Uh, you can then go to that demonstration. The video is there and you can use it. Of course, the share button is where you'll get what you would share or the embed code if necessary. Uh, that's where you're going to get the information that you need to share it to wherever you're posting the video.